Chad had gone to Marshall, Missouri, uh, for the weekend to spend time with these long-term with long-term friends. Around, I think it was around nine o'clock. Chad called and said he was headed home. I said, bye, love you. And he told me, bye, he loved me. And uh, I said the mom thing, please be careful. And I said, but call me when you get home. And, and uh, he said, well, it'll be around midnight. And I said, I'll just feel better knowing, knowing when you're home. Life changes. in an instant. Possible fatality. The motorcycle had been laid down. There was blood on the roadway. I noted a, a male patient laying in the roadway, a motorcycle on its side with several people standing around. When I got to the patient's side, the first thing that I noted was that the patient had significant head trauma and was not breathing. I checked, he did not have a pulse. It was almost exactly midnight. My phone rang. I answered the phone. You're home safe and sound, huh? And it was the chief of police of the city of Hollister. He said, you need to go to the hospital. Chad's been in an accident. On my arrival at the scene, I noted he was not wearing a helmet while laying on the ground. The helmet was found laying against a guardrail with significant damage to the top of, of the helmet. They don't have to say we did everything we could do. But that's what they said. And I said, tell me what that means. We just did everything we could do. And I asked them, I said, my son is dead. He said, yes. They handed me a little brown envelope. It had his wallet, his keys, and his cell phone. That's all I left the hospital with that night. Oh, his boots. I got his boots. And he said, we're sorry for your loss. And you just sit there and you go, what do you do now? I, I could smell a strong odor of intoxicants coming from the breath of the driver. I asked him to perform the field sobriety test and he refused to. At that point, I placed him under arrest for the driver while intoxicated. Later at the jail, there was uh, two shot glasses recovered out of his pocket that uh, had a odor of intoxicants on them. But further investigation led to finding out that they had been at a couple different bars in the area throughout the night. Some, day, some days you think it's just a dream, it didn't happen. The next time the phone rings, it's gonna be him. But I've even gone the other way. Sometimes I think he was just a dream that I never had him, that he was never in my life. And then it was this marvelous story I read somewhere about this relationship with this mother and this son. But reality tells you it happened. I know I was lucky I had him 40 years. I know some people don't have their children that long. And we were friends. The last words I heard him say, I love you, Mama. I guess that's pretty lucky.